Hey pros, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA, Crystal W Online, and Pro Beauty Wholesale. So today we're working with my client who is definitely low porosity, and she also has what I would appear to say medium to coarse textured hair. She is also definitely 4C, but she stretched her hair out, um, and when I mean stretch it out, meaning she had detangled her hair um, and just kept it kind of stretched in a sense. But that does not stop from saying that she is definitely 4C. She just got a little stretch to it. All right, so we're gonna start the shampoo process. Um, and here, I wanna just give you guys a pro tip. If you are low porosity and you are also 4C and you may be medium and coarse textured, please ensure that when you are saturating your hair, this is a really important step because low porosity hair repels water, that's number one. 4C hair repels water, that's number two. Coarse textured hair repels water, that's number three. Hence the reason why you end up using tons of product and your hair still doesn't feel actually clean or you miss a lot of spots and you end up just overboarding when it comes on to doing your wash day. So to start off the process, I did use our Elite Clarify, which is our charcoal detox shampoo. Now this is a sulfate free gentle cleansing shampoo and you do want to make sure especially for my low porosity 4C people um, that you go ahead and make sure that you really cleanse that hair and that scalp at the beginning because 4C hair is definitely known to hide dirt and trap it in the crevices. Why? Because the curl pattern is more of a zigzag rather than a coil and the zigzags stack right on top of each other. Now for her treatment portion of the wash day, I'm doing an actual cocktail with our Mended sh Shampoo, which is our Mended Frizz Control and Splitting Control, as well as our Low Porosity Plus Shampoo. Now the Low Porosity Plus Shampoo is a protein-free ultra hydration shampoo, and then our Mended is a Frizz and Split and Control Shampoo. So the reason why I cocktail them is because I wanted to get, basically, or kill two birds with one stone, and her hair definitely needed it on either end. So rather than me doing five different shampoos and drying her hair or risking dehydrating her hair I went ahead and created that cocktail to really just be able to do all of this in one step now before I do her deep conditioning mask I did want to make sure that I went through and dried her with a towel and then I am going to cocktail our mended deep conditioning mask and also our um, ultra hydrate low porosity mask as well like i said guys killing two birds with one stone super important now i am going to go through and thoroughly detangle her that is super important you guys detangling at this step of the process is really going to be the name to the game and then i'm making sure that i also detangle her ends thoroughly because remember i am basically training her hair at the shampoo bowl so that when i get to this the phase of having to dry her and really style her the hair is already detangled and stretched and I also went through and made sure that those ends were in a healthier state so that I could make sure that I'm not overcutting when it comes time for her trim. Now this is also something that I recommend you guys do at home. Don't skip the detangling process you guys. I don't recommend finger detangling either. You need to thoroughly detangle with a wide tooth comb. If you have your Elite Hair Care comb, go ahead and use that. If not, use whatever wide tooth comb you might have. We will be bringing back the Elite Hair Care carbon backed wide tooth combs, which is for your detangling in the shampoo bowl soon. So you guys look out for that. Now keep in mind, she is gonna go under a hooded dryer with a processing cap for about 15 to 20 minutes. But at this step, you can also do um, a hydration treatment. Now when she was done, I rinsed her with cool water and now I'm spraying her down with our low porosity um, leave-in conditioning spray infused with smell mucin. And then I'm also gonna spray her with one of our newest products, which is our heat protectant spray and humidity protectant spray. Now this product is not available yet, you guys. It's really still in the Procurate phase. Um, and I just wanted to just kind of give you guys a little heads up that it's coming soon. Now this is um, definitely something that you can use when the hair is wet. It is going to give you heat protection. It's also going to give you humidity protection and it's going to help keep that hair nice and shiny and lustful and protect it from those UV rays without making the hair feel heavy or oily because it is a water-based formula. So it is used at the end of your wash day right before you blow dry your hair or before you use any form of flat iron. Now, 
Of course, you guys, I did detangle her at the bowl, but one characteristic of low porosity 4C hair is that it tangles on the instant. So don't feel bad if you're going through and you're like, okay, I just detangled, now I gotta detangle again and again and again. Yes, that's a part of the process, you guys. So just keep in mind that that's a characteristic of having those different types of hair. Now I am going through and thoroughly blow drying her the remainder of the way. She did go under the dryer for about 30 minutes. And then from there, I'm actually using our new smooth iron to flat iron or silk press or press or whatever you want to call it to her hair. Now, you guys know that I have been an H2 Pro girl for absolutely forever. But as I grow, I just knew that it was time for me to get back into my tools. So I wanted to formally introduce our new Smooth by EHC Professional Tools Flat Iron. So this is a ceramic one inch flat iron with digital temperature. It actually goes up to 500 degrees, you guys. So while I was doing her silk press, I actually put it on 500 degrees for the press because I wanted you guys to see that even though it says 500 degrees and that sounds like, oh my gosh, that's super high. Remember you guys, I did my due diligence to protect her hair with our heat protecting spray that's releasing soon. I also made sure that based on the texture of her hair and the density of her hair, I knew how wide my sections needed to be in order to make sure that I'm not over processing or um, in a sense burning her hair. But I just wanted to give you guys another little heads up. Using a hot comb, you guys, the hot comb is over 500 degrees. A lot of you don't know that. That hot comb is over 500 degrees at any given moment, okay? Most times we don't actually know the temperature of the hot comb because there is no temperature setting on a Marcel stove for it to tell you that your iron is 495 degrees, okay? So like I said, our new smooth iron goes up to 500 degrees. It also has a digital temperature screen where you actually can watch the iron heat up and it heats within 30 seconds. It also has a auto shut off where if you leave it on for too long, it will shut itself off to make sure that you don't burn your iron out and you get a lot of longevity. All right, so now that her trim is all done, you guys look at this hair, come on now. Her hair is amazing, amazing. All right, so to style her, I did spray her with a little bit of Sebastian Shaper. I did spray a little bit of Goddess Polish um, in her hair as well. That's gonna be an added thermal protectant for her hair. And now I'm just using our smooth one inch ceramic iron to give her some large bump curls. And then I am actually pin curling them so that I can give her that roller set effect. Now I was able to use my iron for both the silk press as well as her style. Her hair is absolutely safe. It absolutely Absolutely will revert you guys and it looks absolutely amazing and healthy all over again especially that shine come on now elite hair care products for the win pro products all of 2024 all right so the reason why I'm doing large sections you guys is if I've already soot pressed her I don't need to go back and do half inch sections again that is the easiest way to get heat damage okay so this is another reason why I like to do um, my clients this way, especially for those who I know are 4C um, or coarse or medium textured because I know that their hair wants to revert really, really quickly. Now, this is not to say that her hair won't revert quickly because it still can, but this is just gonna give her a little bit more longevity and it's also gonna give her that nice shine, that nice bump, and also still keep a lot of that volume even though we still want her hair to be nice and straight. Now for her styling, I am using our new Flow 3-in-1 comb. This is a three-part comb where you have wide tooth, medium tooth, and then a pick for volumizing. Um, and it just made my job super easy. Plus, you guys know the gold. It's the gold, okay? Okay. Anyway, you guys, comment down below. Tell me what you guys thought about her silk press, the entire process. Are you loving the, the, the oomph to her hair? Like, come on now. This hair is jumping and bumping and moving. She looked great. She still had a lot of that density. She had a lot of that volume that comes from her having that 4C hair. So don't be afraid because you have 4C hair, you guys. It's not a bad thing. Work with what you have and make it better. And you know, 2024, Elite Hair Care products. So check us out, EliteHairCareUSA.com. Bye.